the fourth Sunday of Advent, is always dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And like we say, uh, the church puts the spotlight on Mary because without Mary's yes, there is no Jesus. Without the Annunciation, there's no Christmas. And um, Mary's role in our lives uh, didn't end when she gave birth to Christ, but our devotion to Mary is a share in Christ's love and devotion to her. Oh, uh, St. Louis de Montfort uh, promoted a, a total consecration to the Blessed Virgin Mary. In fact, Pope John Paul II took that total consecration as his motto, tuus, totus tuus, uh, I am yours, my queen and my mother. I am all yours, my queen and my mother. Um, and St. Louis de Montfort, like we say, went around promoting devotion to Mary, but he was also persecuted. Um, they, uh, and um, at one point, he was fleeing from his persecutors, and, and he was in a boat with his companions um, fleeing. And one of his companions noted a boat coming toward them with, with their enemies, those who wanted to kill them. And so in fear, the companion said to St. Louis de Montfort, what are we going to do? And St. Louis responded, well, let's sing a hymn to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Okay, and, and the two ships passed as if St. Louis and his companions were invisible. Okay, like we, we have that prayer, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, sought your intercession, was left unaided. They say devotion to Mary is like a sign of predestination. It's a, 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 a certainty that God has given us the gift of faith because he shares his love for his mother with us. They say the heart of Mary is the door to Jesus. The church has that little maxim, to Jesus through Mary. Mary is the most direct, the shortest way to her son. When we seek Mary, we find Jesus. There's that story that when the icon iconoclasts went into a church, they saw a beautiful statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary holding the Christ child. But they wanted to chip away Mary Okay? And when they chipped away Mary, Jesus came crashing down. Okay? That's just the way it is. Okay? Without Mary, um, Mary protects and preserves our faith in Christ. Uh, so she, she strengthens it. Um, one of, um, wherever, there's a, today's gospel is the visitation. And in that gospel, Mary visits her cousin Elizabeth. And there's an image, a painting of the visitation. And the whole path that Mary traveled is filled with light, the, um, the, the pathway she traveled on visiting her cousin Elizabeth. And the point of that painting is that wherever go Mary goes, she brings the light and life of Christ, truth and grace. Fatima, Lourdes, Guadalupe, like we say, her vocation, her mission did not end um, at, at Bethlehem, but she continues to bring the light and, and life of Christ into the world today. Mary's like a living tabernacle. She had Jesus Christ within her, and, and so wherever she goes, her path is illumined with light and life. See, and Mary goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth, with, with, which is a corporal work of mercy. See, Mary is on fire with the love of God. She's full of grace. But that love of God overflows to love of neighbor. Mary, like we say, does a corporal, but it's also a spiritual work of mercy in visiting Elizabeth because she brings the grace of Christ to John the Baptist. The church would teach that John the Baptist is cleansed of original sin at the visitation. Okay. So again, one priest, Father Patrick Payton, would say that to love God alone is to love God not at all. 
Mary was filled with the fire of divine charity. She was filled with grace. But that grace overflowed to love of neighbor, to helping Elizabeth and bringing grace to John the Baptist. Okay. And it says Mary proceeded in haste because charity is always in a hurry. When we're on fire, we have this desire to bring that fire to others. Okay. Charity is always in a hurry. Like St. Francis, if he were writing a letter and heard a knock at the door, he, he wouldn't even cross a T or dot an I, but he would answer the door to see if there was some work of charity that he could perform. Okay. Um, and, and so Mary, in, in the visitation, is sometimes seen as the fulfillment of the Ark of the Covenant. In the Old Testament, the Ark of the Covenant was Israel's sign of victory. Like, the Ark of the Covenant would be carried by priests leading the army into battle. When they went to Jericho, it was the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant that went around the walls of Jericho. And following that, the walls of Jericho fell. So for the Israelites, the Ark of the Covenant was their guarantee of victory. Okay. When the Philistines stole the Ark, nothing but evil befell the Israelites. Plagues, disasters, famines, every kind of uh, unfortunate thing happened to them. So, so the Philistines put the Ark on a cart and sent it back to Israel. Okay. Well, like we say, Mary is also our guarantee of victory, devotion to Mary, like even the, the scapula, wearing the scapula, you say, uh, it, it's an, a certain act of confidence in Mary's intercession, that no one, whoever dies wearing that scapula would never suffer eternal fire, is a, is a certain sign of Mary's protection uh, against evil. There's a Catholic proverb that says, child of Mary, child of paradise. Child of Mary, child of paradise. And we say as devotion to Mary goes, so goes the church. When devotion to Mary is weak or superficial, th the church experiences difficult times. When devotion to Mary is true and flourishing, when it means the imitation of her virtues, then the church flourishes. Okay. And as goes the church, so goes the world. Okay. So, so devotion to Mary it, it enables the church to flourish, but ultimately it causes the world to flourish as well. So in the church, we put Mary on a pedestal. Mary is the model of virginity and motherhood. And when Mary is not on that pedestal, the world doesn't recognize the value of virginity or motherhood. Okay. But when we exalt her, the, the church uh, acclaims her, ultimately the, the world will also value what the church values, what, what the grace of God has given to Mary. So we pray for a renewed devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary in our hearts and our families, and, and that her triumph the triumph of her Immaculate Heart will, will bring a, a peace in our world.